This is PsyQ, Shido Biking Security Police. And with a name like that that I can only halfway pronounce, it just has to be a great game, right? Well, no. But it is a great title. And for me, that's pretty much 50 to 60% of what a game has to offer, so it's a good start. This one never made it to store shelves in North America, but it was released in Japan, of course, and also appeared in Europe under the title Police Chase Down. In this game, you play a motorcycle cop, tasked with defending a very important person from the government, along with his or her white limousine, from terrorists. I don't know exactly who the VIP is, or who the terrorists are, but it's not my place to ask questions. Luckily, whichever officer you choose, you're fully prepared to defeat any pesky terrorist. Not that you have a huge arsenal of weapons at your disposal. You just have your gun, your motorcycle, and your apparent superpowers, because you just can't be hurt. Your gun is a pretty good weapon, just fire and the game auto-targets an enemy, and you can pick up extra ammo that's been left on the road for some reason. But your best attack is just driving into the enemies. Taking down a motorcycle riding terrorist is one thing, but you can also take out the enemy vans and hummers just by ramming them a few times. And if there's exploding barrels or mines in the road you need to take out, just ride into them too. Oh, and some of the motorcycle bad guys fire guns at the limo, and you can actually block the bullets with your body. This game sounds really, really good. It's got a great title, good game concept, exaggerated character abilities in an otherwise ordinary game world. Nothing could derail this game train, except actually playing the game. Now this isn't the worst game of all time, but you can tell it's a budget title. The graphics are simplistic and bland with lots of repetitive textures, and there's oddly no other cars on these public roads, which makes it feel pretty empty and strange. What's even stranger is that on a couple levels you actually will see other traffic, if a single vehicle counts as traffic. It's actually shocking to just suddenly see a totally random car on the road. The levels are also pretty short and you oddly aren't really escorting the VIP anywhere in particular. It's not like you're trying to get to a building or other landmark. Uh, seemingly out of nowhere the stage will just end right in the middle of the road. I guess it was extremely important for the VIP to make it to this empty stretch of highway. It's funny how my suspension of disbelief is calibrated, though. Cops with the abilities of Superman? That's just fine. But not having a real location to escort this person to? That's simply unacceptable. But back to the gameplay. Uh, the control in this game is not stellar. I've played worse, but here there's not much of a range between minimum and maximum steering input, especially at high speeds. So you'll probably end up spinning out a lot until you get used to it. The four different cops you get to choose from don't really vary much. Their motorcycles seem to have different top speeds, but they all have poor acceleration, so you have to make sure not to stop on an incline, because you'll struggle to get up the hill if you do. After you finish the 10 stages on normal level, you'll unlock hard mode, which actually improves things a bit, because you'll have to take out more enemies now, and thus it's more challenging. And also, the VIP apparently changes to ZZ Top. Okay, I, I know that doesn't exactly look like the Texas Trio's iconic hot rod, but, as far as I'm concerned, Billy Gibbons is in that car. And I'm gonna get him to whatever sidewalk or tunnel or off-ramp he needs to get to. Yeah, so PsyQ Shido Biking Security Police is fun to talk about, but not so much fun to play. If only it played as good as it sounds. Oh well. But just look at how big this cop is. I can't really hate a game with such a poor sense of scale. Thank you.